good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again with another WWE action figure surgery episode. We got plenty of stuff here today that we're going to cover. We're going to finally finish our Orange Cassidy that we've been trying to get to the correct height for so freaking long now. And I think today we're finally going to get that job done. I got a little Seth Rollins that I'm thinking of converting into like a fantasy attire that you could make yourself if you have the parts. I got Jeff Hardy in the house, our clown Hardy right here that we're going to switch some parts and fix him up. Kevin Owens as well will be fixed up today and we're going to go through all the processes, get through this action figure surgery and bring you a good old time here today for WWE action figure surgery. So let's go ahead and dive into what we're going to be doing here today. I guess we could start off with Orange Cassidy guys. As you guys remember on action figure appointment, I think the last time we took a look at Cassidy um, was on that action figure appointment episode. We were trying to make him shorter because he was obviously way too tall. I have put the Chad Gable lower legs on here. We're going to try and shove these Jason Jordan shoes up in these legs. Obviously, they won't fit quite yet. And uh, so we are going to finish out these holes. You know, the, the Dremel died last time. I did find the charger. I got it charged up, ready to go. So we're going to finish these holes off. We're going to trim down these calves so that these pants will freaking slide on there. And maybe they won't be so damn tight this time. And they'll look a lot better than they used to. So I'm really excited to fix Orange Cassidy, get him going. And that is definitely something we're going to do here today. So we are going to shave down his legs, cut holes in his legs, and he's going to be, he's going to get effed up, but we're going to fix him up, man. He's going to look pretty good once it's all said and done. So let's go ahead and get Cassidy's BS out of my face. And we move on to our next thing, guys. I think something that I think would be really, really unique, not really unique, but it would be pretty clean and something that I think would make the figure a lot better. You guys see, we have my updated Elite 66 KO. I do need to add the rest of his tattoos because his full sleeve is finished. He also has a big dinosaur head over here, like a T-Rex skull tattoo on this side as well, and uh, I want to paint those tattoos on there and finish him up, but today we're focused on the boots. I think adding these Pat Patterson boots to Kevin Owens is going to make him look better because you guys now see, since he's went back to the boot style when he first returned uh, at the beginning of 2019, or was it the beginning? Yeah, it was the beginning of 20. I can't freaking remember. When he first came back, he had the white tape, he had the white shoestrings, or now he's wearing like red shoestrings. He's been changing it up. He's worn blue, he's worn red, he's worn white, and I think today we're just going to put the white shoestring boots in here to tie the, uh, you know, give it a little bit of accent, break up some of this black on the boots, and that'll be a really simple swap. Nothing too crazy, but something I did want to do here today on action figure surgery, so that will be another swap we're going to do, and be something that'll just, you know, it's one of those tweaks that you do that makes it look a little bit better. Let's move on to Hardy right here, guys. I discussed this in yesterday's video with the fantasy attire Jeff Hardy, and today we are going to be switching out his feet. Now, what I plan on doing, I'm not done with this figure just yet because I was trying to figure out the armbands, but I do want to paint the belt. I'm not going to do it here today, but I am going to paint this belt to where it's going to be a rainbow belt, and then I am going to switch out his feet, where one of the feet is going to be on, uh, from the Mustafa Ali, and eventually I will, you know, acetone off those designs, and then we are also going to be switching out the other foot with one of these Kofi Kingston feet, so he's going to have one like bright green foot, one bright yellow and that will tie into his face paint and his hair paint that he's got going on here with this clown hardy and uh, it'll tie into the armbands as well once we rainbow belt paint up the ish there that will also fix it a lot so that'll be a really cool fix up and swap and i didn't know which kofi kingston feet to use because i have two of this ghostbusters attire elite and both or all four of these ankles are pretty loose and i didn't know if that would play into the figure i don't think it would because this is this joint this is its own separate entity this has nothing to do with that so I don't think it'll matter because the Jeff Hardys are tight, but uh, I, yeah, I, I don't know why I got both of them here. You stupid jackass. So that, that's what else we're going to be doing. We're going to do some Jeff Hardy little feet swaps right there. Get that little rainbow attire going. Make sure we get all that taken care of. And then last but not least, we do have our Seth Rollins right here. And this is going to be pretty unique. I don't think I've ever seen this done before, but I had the parts laying around and the idea crossed my mind. Since I have so many of these Rollins, and I love to put together Rollins fantasy attires for you guys and showcase them so you guys can make them yourselves. What we're going to do today is switch out the lower legs and kick pads with this Buddy Murphy extra legs I have to give him that red and white look. And I think I'm going to keep the red uh, the red knee pads on here. I don't think I'm going to put the white knee pads on there. That could change, but since he does have the Best Kept Secret logo on there and uh, I'm not acetoning that off here today, I guess I, I guess I could put like the SR, but not 
not today, obviously. And the black knee pad, obviously from the Elite 64 or the Top Talents that has the SR logo, just wouldn't look good with the white kick pads and stuff like that. So I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I might could put on the one right SR pad from the uh, the open knee pads because that would actually probably look pretty decent because they'd be the same style. And you know that he wears that one SR knee pad, and then he's got you know the, sometimes it's a different color and stuff. That might could work, but I, I don't know if I'm feeling it. So what I think I'm just gonna do is just switch out these lower legs and then uh, the kick pads as well, and leave the red kick pad or leave the red knee pads on there. See how where that goes, and then we'll see what comes of it. But I'm also gonna switch out the head sculpt because I hate this head sculpt. I'm gonna put the Elite 37. I feel like I always put the Elite 37 on my fantasy attire, so I'm gonna continue that trend. Keep doing that. And then I didn't know if I should put on the Elite 45 arms or if I should leave these arms. I guess we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it. But that is all the surgery we're doing here today, guys. So I got the white trusty hair dryer. I'm gonna get the hell out of here and go ahead and start our surgery. And I guess we'll start off with the simpler swaps and then we'll come back and hit up the harder ones. So I guess we're gonna do Orange Cassidy last. And let's go ahead and convert our swaps. All right, guys. So the first bit of business is going to be getting the hair dryer in position and this should be a relatively pretty simple swap and I'll tell you what I might can do him and Jeff Hardy at the same time Kevin Owens and Jeff Hardy could be done at the same time it just is going to depend on how much heat we get right here if I can get everything in position um, these Jeff Hardy feet are probably going to be a bitch to swap so I guess we can just see and cross that bridge when we come to it as well but we also have to heat up the feet of the Mustafa Ali and the Kofi Kingston legs as well so this is going to be kind of a challenge, but uh, if I heat it up long enough, I think we should be able to get it. I don't know why they're not stacking. Damn. All right, guys, I think I got it. Finally, Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and heat this ish up and uh, see if we can get these switches going. All right, guys, hopefully that is long enough. You know, I don't want any bull crap. I don't want to mess up anything. So let's just go ahead and start off with Jeff Hardy's feet right here. You know, it's good that none of the paint was in the flow of that hairdryer because if you guys have ever done this before, um, you can F up your paint job if you heat it up and stuff like that. So you got to be really careful. And this foot is being way more pissy than that last one, and it's pissing me the hell off. Come on, bro. I mean, Jesus Christ, what the hell is going on? Finally got it. I thought I was about to pull the whole damn foot foot joint out and that was gonna make me super freaking just pissed as hell. Alright, the the boots from uh, Kevin Owens and the Pat Patterson are actually really simple and the way to get these on is just like that. It's kind of like a weird, you gotta make like a hooksy type deal going on and so this one's the same way. We're gonna put those legs and Mustafa over there and then you just kind of put it on and then you, I like doing it this way better. You flip it over like this and you kind of just, you push it down in there like that and then you try to hook it back and I'm not doing a really good job of explaining it, Brad, so I apologize for that. But yeah, the biggest the biggest tip I can give you guys, we'll take a look at that Jeff Hardy at the end. The biggest tip I can give you guys about getting the feet on is just make sure they're really, really hot. Whether you're using water or hair dryer, make sure it's super duper hot and that will give you a better opportunity to get that on there. But these boots right here should be relatively easy, just like I thought. Just pop that off there. Pop that off there and there. And I guess we can go ahead and put these boots back on Pat. And you know what? I'm going to take your knee pads. You don't get knee pads no more. Ha! All right, putting the black solid boots. And we'll throw him over here. And then we'll come back over here and we'll put these boots on here. That should go on there pretty clean, just like so. Really happy about that. And there we go. So we will take a closer look at Kevin and Jeff at the end, of course. But until then, we do have some more surgery to conduct. We still got to do our Seth Rollins and we still got to do our Orange Cassidy, which is obviously going to take up the most time. So we got our knee pads right here, which will come into a custom later. We also have these Jeff Hardy feet, which will go in the Jeff Hardy fodder bag, which is dedicated. I need to go through all my baggies one day with you. That's There's a video idea. Let's move on to the next step, guys. We do have our Seth freaking Rollins. Now, our first thing we're going to do is remove his vest because, uh, you know, if you heat up these rubber vests, they warp. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. If you guys ever switch Roman Reigns' arms, if you're trying to do like a vest conversion or something with Roman Reigns, don't ever heat up a Roman Reigns with the vest still on. Get that damn vest way far away from yourself or you will warp it and it'll be ruined. It'll never go back to its true shape 
again. So that is something to take note of when you're switching out some Roman Reigns and stuff like that. But uh, I say we switch out the head scan first. And I don't know, this is where I need your guys' help. Let me know down below, should I remove the freaking arms too i don't freaking know i feel like the white breaks up all that black but then i feel like it may look dumb because it doesn't have red in it and then it's just like what am i doing but the silver does match the belt buckle technically and the white and black obviously match the white and black that is on the rest of the red gear but then it's like god in heaven brad you know what let's just leave these we'll switch out the lower legs and then we'll see what it looks like but first of all we are going to switch out the head sculpts so we do have to switch out the head sculpts first and i guess while i'm uh, there's there's no point in doing that. There's no point in heating up. I was going to say heat up the, the lower legs of this while heating up the head scans here, but once we pull that off, there's not really going to be a... You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it just because just because I said so, all right? Just because I freaking said so, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the end of that, so. So we're going to heat these up together, and I know that I'm obviously going to have to heat up the lower legs of the Rollins anyways. But the whole point being is uh, I won't have to switch out lo both lower legs at the same time, even though I'm probably going to have to heat them up again. God dang. Okay, the damn hairdryer won't effing stay in place, and it's really pissing me off. And god dang, that pisses me off. But we're just going to remove this anyway, because I, I know it's heated up long enough, and these damn knee pads are freaking hot as shit. And then the freaking skin tone pegs, bro. God dang. That means I'm going to have to use the red ones from the Rollins, because I don't want that skin tone showing through there. But there's our lower legs. There's our knee pads. There is the legs and the pegs. So then we're going to take the head sculpt off, and it's not even hot, so F it. Lower legs aren't hot either. The arms are shot. I, I'm through with it. <sighs> so the whole point of the thing was just entirely wasted. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this is good enough. Oh my God, I'm not risking that. You can hang that up on the freaking ceiling and fart in a bag with it. I'm not, I'm not risking that. God dang, man. All right, we got that dumbass head sculpt off that's god awful, and we're putting the Elite 37. Oh my God, the top of his head is freaking on fire. Jesus Christ. Good Jesus in heaven, that's hot. All right. All right, now what we're going to do is come back to our white kick pads and lower legs, and we're going to heat those up with our Seth Rollins ones. That way they can switch out and interchange easily. And now that I'm looking at it, I really do want to switch out these arms, like just looking at it from this angle. But we'll just see. We'll freaking see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if we can get this switch going. God in heaven, I keep heating it up too long or something, man, because my, oh my God, about to drop the damn F-bomb on them. Jesus Christ, I got to stop doing that. This shit hurts. I can't even hold it. Oh my God, dang, bro. We even, did we even get it on? Like, son of a bitch. Oh my, <sighs> freaking tear my own face off. God dang, bro. God dang. Well, I got the right leg, Brad. I cannot seem to get the left leg for whatever reason. Kind of looks like there's some freaking, like, flakes or something up in that hoe, and it's preventing it from going in, and it's really pissing me off, Brad. If you want me to be real, it's pissing me right off. If I can't get this, I'm definitely not gonna reheat it on camera. You can freaking hang that up, Brad. <laughs> All right, I finally freaking got it. Now, I don't know about the arms. I really don't know about the arms, Brad. We'll take a look at that closer at the end of the video when we take a look at KO and Jeff Hardy. Those legs are also super duper loosey goosey fart bags. So we're gonna have to move all of this ish out of the way. Um, we got a nice little pile of fodder going over here for the rest of this video since we have so much ish going on. But uh, now we're moving on to the super interesting thing, which is going to be Orange Cassidy. And for Orange Cassidy, it is going to be interesting indeed because we have to 
do a lot of things with this figure right here. We're gonna have to cut into the leg and not only cut inside these holes right here, we're gonna have to get these holes done, but we have to shave down the leg and then see if we can plug in the boots into those legs and hopefully, you know, we uh, don't run in, into any trouble and hopefully this will make him the perfect height. So first things first is we're gonna take our trusty Dremel right here. We're gonna switch out the bit right here and uh, you can get these at Walmart you can get them uh, at Lowe's, I believe. I would just go to Walmart, though. It's probably your best bet. This is the 7700 model. And it works like a freaking charm. So we're going to drill into this hole, make these larger, and then move on to the next step. Alright, I don't know how good that is, but uh, for now, we're gonna just, we're not gonna test it yet. We're gonna go over to, you know what, actually, we probably should test it. But we gotta heat up these holes so that the uh, the boots can plug up in there and see if we need to go any deeper or whatever. Alright guys, we'll see if this will do right here. Again, I don't know how well this is gonna work out. Yeah, I don't think that's deep enough. You guys can see the gap right there. Still got a little ways to go. And then over on this side, let's find out about the right leg. And same thing, not even close to deep enough. God dang. Much closer that time. All right, the left leg, the left leg seems like it's pretty good right there, but back again. Alright guys, I think that is deep enough for that and we will, uh, you know, move on to that once we, uh, you know, get these legs shaved down. But now we have to do the interesting part and that is going to be legitimately sanding down these legs and I'll be honest with you, that's going to be a challenge because you don't want to make it too thin so i think like i because if i shave off too much right here it's going to go into where we've already dug in there and you definitely don't want something like that to happen so i'm going to do my best to try to use this right here as like our guideline and just I, I don't care what it looks like it could look awful as hell you know i'm not trying to make it look perfect i'm just trying to get it to where the jeans will go over it so that's all i'm really worried about is getting those jeans over the legs because the jeans are going to cover it so it doesn't really matter if all these legs are really you know scuffed up and stuff Definitely much thinner. Freaking orange Cassidy skin shavings everywhere. There's freaking orange shavings everywhere. Look at that right there. Jesus Christ. And actually what you can do is come over it with acetone and it will actually uh, improve that and make that super duper smooth. So that's probably what I'll end up having to do because if I try to pull the jeans over that, it's probably gonna hug and like, you know, cause this is real like grip tape feeling, you know, it's got real stiffy on there and it will probably grip it like teeth and then the pants would not want to go on, so I am probably going to have to do that. And I'll probably shave them down a little bit more as well, but let's go ahead and shave down some more. Shavings everywhere. I got a piss like a freaking Russian racehorse. 
God dang. All right, so I went ahead and acetoned the calves, and they look way better, man. Like, holy crap, they look so much better than they did. So uh, I guess I can go ahead and try and put the pants on. I honestly feel like they're still way too thin thick, but uh, I don't know. Let's just go ahead and try it, and I, I don't know if I'll be able to get it on camera. I'll try my best to do it on camera, but uh, yeah, we'll just see how that goes, but I still feel like the thighs, or not the thighs, but the uh, the calves are just too thick, man, and I freaking shaved them down for a pretty good amount. Like, there's a ton of, you know, uh, Orange Cassidy dust just flying all over the place. Like, the whole backstage is a freaking disaster now. Don't look forward to cleaning that up. But uh, we're just going to pull these jeans on and see if we can get them on there. Yeah, Brad, just as I was a fish he's afraid of, man. It's just too freaking thick, bro. I mean, I don't know what to say. They're just too thick. Thick. They were really way too thick before, and they're still too thick, so what does that say? I mean, that tells you that they were super duper damn he thick, boy! But seriously, though, um, I can pull them up, you know, like on the thighs, and like you can see that they're going up, but they're still just too thick over that one part. Maybe I can like tug and tug and try to get them. Alright guys, so here's everything we did today here on Action Figure Surgery. You know, the pants, uh, let's start off with Orange Cassie just because I want to get this out of the way since that was the last segment before we jumped over here. I didn't really tell you guys that we were going to jump to here, but here we are. You know, I don't know if the height is correct. I feel like he may be a little bit too short now. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, he, he's just too short, man. I, I don't freaking know. I'm going to have to just put my brain together and get something to work out because it is just, it is just a headache trying to get this guy to work out. I'm doing my best that I can. It doesn't look too bad like this, but then when you see him up next to people, but I don't know. Would you rather him be too tall or too short? Because look at this right here. This is the difference in Rollins and him, and that just seems like too short. I feel like this is like this is like borderline Marco stunt over here, so I, I don't know, man. I'm not feeling it too much just because of the height issue, but overall, I mean, I guess it does work. His legs have way more articulation than they did on the taller version, and he actually feels a little bit better in the hand and I like that he's I don't know. He's just, he's just a little too short, though, man. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But for the rest of our stuff here today, guys, we do have the rest. We got our Joker Jeff Hardy, which um, the feet do work. I do like the bright green looks really good, especially on that side. I may just switch out both green ones, you know, but uh, I did not acetone this quite yet. Maybe if I painted up the, the yellow one like I did the green one or like the green one is painted, then maybe, you know, it'll, it'll look better. But for now, this is what I'm going to roll with. I do like the green, though. The green Green one's really badass, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think as well about that. I do need to rainbow up the belt. I think that'll also make that look a lot better, but there's our Jeff Hardy. Really like the way the green boot turned out. We also have our Kevin Owens, which this is a very simplistic swap, but I think it does great. You know, with those white accents, ties into the shorts, ties into the shirt, the anyone right there. All I got to do now is finish up his tattoos, and that will be pretty much a perfect current Kevin Owens, besides obviously the t-shirt design, but there's that. You guys can see the sawdust and all the freaking mess that we've made from that Orange Cassidy that didn't even work, so that pisses me off. But last but not least, we have our Seth Rollins, which I think looks pretty damn fantastic. I'm actually really excited for this. I think it looks great. Let me know down below, guys, should I put on the Elite 45 arms? I think that it would make it look better. Maybe add in some red somewhere in here, but I really like these kick pads on this attire with this Rollins head sculpt. I don't know. It just looks clean AF. It just, I, I don't know. It just kind of flows all together. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, but that is going to do it for this episode episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. I'm happy with it. I think it was a successful day. I really love the way these fix-ups look. I think Rollins is probably my favorite. I just love doing the fantasy attires, just throwing stuff together, and there's your little uh, view of it all around, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Comment down below about Orange Cassidy. What do you think of the Rollins? What do you think of Hardy? Kevin Owens? Let me know down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toy. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.